Okay, here's a video related to memory. I just went to File Explorer. Let's right click this PC and go to Properties. And here we can see that although it's a 64 bit operating system, out of 8 gigabytes of memory, only 7.7 .7 is used and 64 bits should use all the memory but still the memory is limited this is because the computer uses an onboard graphics card it does not use the graphics card which is in the PCI Express slot but it uses the graphics card which is on the motherboard so this value can be eliminated by changing the size of memory allocated from the motherboard or by setting the dedicated graphics card as default and then this will be totally eliminated okay so let's restart the computer restart and I will press F2 to enter BIOS F2 entering setup okay and here if we go using the arrow keys go to advanced tab up here then go to chipset configuration and here we can see share memory is set to 256 megabytes we can adjust that let's say to 16 megabytes okay press escape first to get out from here let's go here to exit save the changes okay and we will enter windows once again and of course using only 16 megabytes of memory the computer is barely starting 16 megabytes for the graphics card the hard drive is constantly blinking the yellow one but windows is not starting okay so i will reset the computer i just press the reset button and i will enter bios once again to increase that value Back in BIOS, let's go to the Advanced tab, Chipset Configuration, Shared Memory, let's set it to 64 megabytes and let's see this way. I pressed F10 to save the changes and let's see whether Windows will start or not. Okay, so with 64 megabytes of graphics memory, Windows was able to start. Let's go to the properties of this PC. And surprise, surprise, all those 64 megabytes of RAM is allocated to the graphics card. The limitation is not shown here. Press F2 again to enter BIOS. Back to the advanced tab, chipset configuration, share memory. Let's try 128. Press F10 to save the changes and exit. Started with 128 megabytes of graphics memory, Windows and break for the system properties okay and with 128 megabytes allocated to the graphics card the limitation is back the limitation is a bit lower it was 7.7 .7 gigabytes i think now it's 7.8 okay and let's see whether it will start with 32 megabytes of memory or not press f2 to enter bios Advanced tab, chipset configuration, shared memory, 32, save, exit. Okay, Windows started even with 32 megabytes of memory allocated to the graphics card. Windows and break again. The limitation is not present with 32 megabytes either. And let's try to set the PCI Express graphics card as default. Advanced tab, chipset configuration, and primary graphics adapter not the onboard one but the one which is in the PCI Express slot okay and now this we can set it to 256 also so I just allocated 256 megabytes to the graphics card but the onboard graphics card will not be used save the changes F10 of course I forgot to plug in the HDMI cable so I have to plug it in. Okay, now Windows started. Windows and break for the system properties. And here's an interesting thing. The memory limitation is back. Okay, and let's see if I unplug the VGA cable from the computer. So the VGA cable is unplugged. 
we still have image so the dedicated graphics card is providing this image but although we are using the dedicating graphics card the limitation is still there so we have to turn that off and I will set it to auto and that should eliminate it entering setup yes okay back to advanced go to chipset and share the memory don't allocate anything and for that I will set to auto and of course the PCI Express card is set to default not the onboard one okay save it with F10 save configuration and exit now the memory limitation should be eliminated so let's press Windows and break for the system properties and now the memory limitation is eliminated so although there is a dedicated graphics card in this computer if the motherboard has a graphics card also and that allocates memory for itself then your memory will be still limited even if you use a 64-bit operating system so make sure that one is turned off in this case I set it to auto the memory usage and now all the memory is usable 8 gigabytes out of 8 gigabytes